how to resize image. You can resize image by going to image, resize or by pressing Ctrl R. Always choose best resizing quality except when you are resizing for web. Then you would want to choose something worse. Then you have two main options. Resize by percentage and resize by absolute size. If you would want to have let's say half of the image then you would need uh, to choose by percentage and write in 50%. Or if you know what exact dimensions you need or at least one of them then choose to resize by absolute size and check maintain aspect ratio only if you need image to be exact size as you want and write in width and height. But if you know only one dimension, for example max width, then check maintain aspect ratio and write in width value. Height will be automatically adjusted to keep aspect ratio of the image. Example, uh, here is the image before resizing and after resizing by absolute size and without keeping aspect ratio. How to crop the image? There are at least two ways of cropping the image. Uh, by adjusting canvas size and by selecting exact place to be cropped. Option 1. Canvas size. Go to image canvas size or press Ctrl Shift R. As in the resizing case, you can choose to crop by percentage or by absolute size, but this time you also have got anchor which, which says from where to start. I have set it to middle, but you can choose anything. And the final result. Re result, I have got only 30% of the image and it's the middle part. Option 2. Selection. Most of the time you know what exactly you want to be cropped out. So this option is to, lex to select that part and do cropping to selection thing. For this method you can use any selection tool from the tools table. Then select an area you want to keep. Go to image, crop to selection or press Ctrl Shift X or press this fast access button. And the final result. If you would uh, choose something else than rectangle select tool, it would give you transparency on edges or other parts that wouldn't be selected but would, would still go into the image. How to extend image. If you want to make image a bit bigger you need to go to image, resize and write bigger value than 100% or choose bigger absolute size values. But if you want to extend the image to have more space to work with, then you, have, uh, then you need to go to image canvas size and write in something bigger than 100%. If you are adjusting image size by percentage or just write bigger values if you are adjusting image size by absolute size. And of course choose anchor. If your image is vertical but on computer it shows as horizontal picture and you want to rotate it up by 19 degrees or if you want to flip it to any side, you can do this by going to image and by choosing any option which would do the job. If this is not enough, you can have some more advanced options. Go to layers, rotate zoom or press Ctrl Shift Z. From this box you can choose any option which work best. Just experiment with this. If you are left with transparent image parts, you can crop the image to fix it. Firstly, open both images. Image from where you want to copy something and image where you want to paste. Uh, go to image from which you want to copy something. If you want to copy whole image, then go to edit, select all. Or if you want to copy any part of the image, then just use any selection tool and select that image part. Go to edit, copy or press Ctrl C. Go to image where you want to paste, then edit, paste in the new layer. You can now move it anywhere you want by just dragging it. When you are done, you can deselect and merge layer down if you are done with editings of this image. Sometimes images came with bad colors. For example, one of the colors are just too strong. In this example, my image has got too much of a green color. This can be easily fixed with curves. Go to Adjustments, Curves. Change from Luminosity to RGB because we need to fix colors 
and we need to do this with main color channels. At the bottom you will have three main colors channels. You can select any of them. In this case I need to lower green color so I will uncheck red and blue channels. And just increase or lower the curve to fix the problem. If this doesn't help, let's say other color becomes too strong and you can't adjust one curve to fix the problem, you can uncheck and check other colors channels and adjust other colors as well. If you have got image which, which is clearly not straight like this, don't worry. You can skip this step with line, but I recommend to do it so you will see what are you doing a lot better. Add new layer, choose line curve tool, red color, draw straight line. You can draw it by holding left shift. Go to bottom image layer, just click on it. Go to layers, rotate zoom or press ctrl shift z and adjust first slider. Result so far? Uh, now you just need to de delete line layer and crop to the image. For adjusting photo exposure you have got at least two main options, curves and levels. Using curves, go to adjustments, curves or press ctrl shift m. If you want to change genetic options, stay on luminosity. If you want to change any of the color, swap to RGB. Most of to the left you will be able to change shadows, at the middle midtones and at the right side highlights. Adjust these sliders to see difference by yourself. Using levels, go to adjustments, levels or press ctrl L. Levels will work similar to curves but it has got a bit different interface. So just play around with sliders and see by yourself what each do. There are a lot of ways you can make colors more vivid. Adjustments, use saturation, adjustments, curves, separate plugins, for example, adjustments, vibrance, layer blending modes, and etc. Adjustments, hue, saturation. Most obvious way to make colors more vivid is to adjust saturation. Go to adjustments, use saturation, or press Ctrl Shift U. And just increase saturation slider. Adjustments curves. You can make separate colors more vivid, for example red. Go to adjustments, curves or press Ctrl Shift M. Change to RGB. You can choose any colors channels and just adjust them to your liking. Separate plugins. You can download some plugins to increase paint and net abilities. One plugin is called Vibrance and you can find it at Adjustments Vibrance and adjust the slider. Other plugin is at effects, color, cycle, H, S, V. And once again, just adjust saturation slider. And that's not the end. People always make new plugins. You can find all of them at official peanut forms. Layer blending modes. Another method is to play around with layer blending modes. First, duplicates image layer. Double click on duplicates layer or press F4 if your selected layer is duplicates one. Change layer blending mode to something usually overlay will do the job. You can also adjust opacity if the effect is too strong. Sometimes when you take photos your model doesn't look as good as you would want to. But that's not the problem because you can still fix most of of the problems. Let's say your model has got some blemishes and you want to get rid out of them. Probably the easiest way is to use clone stamp tool. Choose clone stamp tool from the tools table. Adjust brush width. It needs to be a bit bigger than blemish you want to fix. You can also adjust brush width using um, these bracket keys on your keyboard and lower hardness. You can change those settings at any time. Hold Ctrl and click near blemish. You need to have similar skin tone with place from, from where to copy data to where you want to copy the data. You will get two bubbles. One bubble will hold that position you clicked 
and with the other you can click on blemish. If brush with skin tone hardness everything is okay, blemish should be gone now. Secondary bubble will stick near your primary bubble. If you want you can change positions at any time, just repeat step with control and clicking. Now keep removing blemishes. Text or small objects reflections. For text or small objects like icons or something, you will need to have it on separate layer. In this example, I have background on background layer and text on text layer. Duplicate text or object layer. Go to layers, flip vertical. This will flip only currently selected layer. Choose move selected pixels tool from the tools table. Click on the image so everything will be selected. Use down arrow key to move it down. You can also hold Ctrl to move it faster. You can now deselect. Choose gradient tool from tools table and change it from color mode to transparency mode. Drag from text or reflection top to image or reflection bottom. To make it straight, hold left shift while doing it. If you want, you can also change layer on which you have reflection opacity to something lower. Whole image reflection. To make things a little easier, make secondary color fully transparent. After that, switch back to primary color. Then go to image canvas size or press Ctrl Shift R. Then choose to do it by percentage, write any value bigger than 100% and choose anchor to be middle. So you will have image and some transparent space around it. Choose move selected pixels tool from the tools table. You can move image to top so you will have some more space below it. And deselect. Duplicate this layer. Go to image, flip vertical. This will flip only currently selected layer. Choose move selected pixels tool from the tools table. Use down arrow key to move image below normal image. To make moving faster you can hold Ctrl while doing it. And you should get this result. If everything is ok you can deselect. Reset colors to defaults black and white. Choose gradient tool. Change it from color mode to transparency mode. Drag from flipped image top to bottom. To keep perfect and straight angle, you can hold left shift while doing it. And if you want, you can change opacity of reflection layer. If you want to have white background, add new layer and move it to the bottom. Choose paint bucket tool from a tools table. If your secondary color is white, then click on the image using right mouse button. If not, select white color and just click on the image. Select line curve tool from a tools table. Adjust brush width. Add new layer. Draw some lines which will separate different images. If you want to keep lines straight or fixed to some angle, hold left shift while drawing a line. Open all images that you want to add into the collage image. You can open those images, uh, select this option if any of your image is bigger than the collage image. Or add as layers into the collage image. Select this option if all of your images are smaller than the collage image. You can drag and drop those images into Paint.net window and select one of those two options or go to File Open or Layers Import from File. If you have opened your images, you should see them at Paint.net window top. If you have added uh, images as layers, you can skip some steps which is just copying and pasting. Go to any opened images, image, 
then edit select all or press ctrl A. Go to edit copy or press ctrl C. Then go to your collage image. Go to edit paste into a new layer or press ctrl shift V. If image is bigger than the collage image, Pinotet will ask what to do. So select keep canvas size. You can zoom out using slider at Pinotet window bottom or just hold ctrl and use your mouse wheel. You should see at least part uh, of your image and very big selection. Hold left shift to keep image aspect ratio and drag any of a corner to one side to make image smaller. Also if lines layer is below your image then just change layers positions. You will, you will also start to see mo some more and more of your image until you fit it inside any of the boxes you are drawn. You can also move this image by just dragging it. But if everything is okay, it's already okay then just deselect and continue with the other images. Go to another image, select it, copy and paste into the collage image. Make it to fit inside any of the box and just repeat those steps until you are done. If you have imported layers straight into the collage image, you can just use move selected pixels tool from the tools table. If needed, turn on off any of the layers and just move and adjust these images similar to what I have shown. If you have different shapes, for example triangles or just vertical box for horizontal image and it doesn't fit, don't worry. Just place so you will see what you want to keep, the select, select eraser tool and erase what you don't need. It will erase only this image because eraser tool works only on selected layer. And the final result. You can go to image flatten to flatten the image and get one layer from bunch. <laughs>